This will be a brief review of a few key elements of the Gifts Compass inventory personal profile. The GCI is a snapshot of a moment in time. It depicts both lead and shadow types, and in that sense is a kind of x-ray of the whole psyche's dispositions. With individuation, the future development of the individual will typically be in the shadow types. So the GCI can also be used as a longitudinal assessment. Your clients are free to retake the GCI as often as they like. And you may find future profiles to be as interesting as the current one. With individuation, we expect the profile to change. Likely those type dispositions that are most comfortable now will continue to be lead types in the future. But the other types may have come up in their degree of enjoyment. The experience summaries are a crucial element in the GCI assessment. They serve multiple purposes. They enable your clients to get in touch with their most enjoyable and fulfilling experiences. What they enjoy doing most is typically where they are most gifted. That is, which psychological types they feel most at home with. Stepping back to reflect on their lifetime of enjoyable experiences helps them to transcend whatever work circumstances or social pressures might blur their favored dispositions. They can freely consider what truly was enjoyable for them in the past. Because the three experience summaries are used for answering the questions in the assessment, they improve the accuracy of the answers. A person can consider how enjoyable an actual direct experience was rather than considering a hypothetical one. Reviewing the three experiences with your client helps you quickly get access to the core of the individual. The three experiences are at the heart of who your clients are or have been. You are enabled to more quickly step past any personas that might have been erected as a shield in the client-practitioner relationship. Listening to and engaging in the three experiences with your client enables you to more readily sit beside your client with empathy and helps you find the language with which your client will be most comfortable. The three experiences enable you to confirm and validate the GCI results. You should be able to readily hear the type dispositions in the three experiences. If you don't, then it calls into question whether the GCI results are truly valid for the individual and prompts a different conversation about the profile. There may be a falsification of type at work for some reason, and it may be important to explore that possibility with the client. The first section of the report deals with introversion versus extroversion. We first report the degree of enjoyment for both introversion and extroversion. Note that we're not trying to pigeonhole someone into being an introvert or extrovert. Everyone has both of these attitudes available to them, but to different degrees. They are both needed for a fully functional life. Jung noted that anyone who was exclusively introverted or extroverted would be a candidate for the lunatic asylum. We also report whether a preferred directional attitude is either receptive or directed. If the attitude is more receptive, then the two receptive types for that directional attitude are more engaged. If it is more directed, then the two rational types are more engaged. The orientation refers to the four functional orientations, inner object, outer object, logic, or value. In the client reports, we use the term dreams and facts for inner, out, inner object and outer object, respectively. The compass headings are an aggregate of four types taken together, led by the rational type in that quadrant. For example, the reflecting heading is an aggregate of scores for introverted feeling, introverted sensation, introverted intuition, 
and extroverted intuition. The associating heading is an aggregate of scores for extroverted feeling, extroverted sensation, extroverted intuition, and introverted sensation. We use the term gifts for the eight psychological types. And we use the term used for the new functional role as the name of the gift. For example, introverted intuition would be referred to as the visionary gifts, introverted feeling, the idealistic gifts. The questions and examples in the GCI were meticulously formulated over a three-year research study under the supervision of a PhD in industrial psychology from Michigan State University. We engaged five subject matter experts in an intensive detailed development and evaluation of each question and each example, completing the content validity phase of the work. The instrument was then successfully tested for construct validity in a study with over 250 participants. For optimal results, your client should follow the instructions carefully, first answering questions that pertain to at least one of their three experiences. Any questions not answered are then brought back later with a concrete example to clarify the question. As a GCI practitioner, you will receive an expanded advisor report that we will be reviewing in session 5B, the next session 